forecast now. We have a live look for you over Mount Clemens. It looks like the wind is going a little bit up there. We see the flag waving. Um, certainly not getting what New York nope. and other nope. areas have experienced. Did we just dodge that system all together? Yeah, that's the one that passed just off to our south. Yeah. We were looking at it yesterday, so we're not worried about it. It will continue out towards the Atlantic Ocean. We have another system of our own that will be coming in mm. on Thursday, so we do still have some time. We have a lot of clouds across the region today. We've also had flurries and even some light snow, but let's take a look at current conditions first. An overall chillier day. Highs were in the mid 30s. We are starting to see our temperatures slide a bit, and we are heading for the low to mid 20s tomorrow tomorrow morning, so even colder than what we saw this morning. But as you can see, we're actually looking at not only lake effect flurries, but even lake effect light snow, not only for us here in Metro Detroit, but even on the western side of the state and pretty much on the eastern side of any of the Great Lakes. Thankfully for us here, because of the direction of the winds, the lake effect has to travel all the way across the state, so it hasn't been much. We have, yes, had a few light snow showers that have brought a quick little dusting that eventually goes away, but that's been about it today, and I do expect that all to end as we head into tonight. As our temperatures drop, but off to the west, our next storm is brewing. Doesn't really look like much, but it is going to develop quickly and then move into our area on Thursday and bring us a chance for some snow, sleet, freezing rain and rain. So this is going to be another one of those systems where depending on exactly where you live, you will probably see something different than say your friend in the town over or your relatives 30 miles to the north. So right now we're looking at snow showers. We're all seeing the same thing as we head into tonight. We will be looking at clearing skies by tomorrow. Actually more sunshine tomorrow than what we've had today. We are going to get back to some mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will climb just a few degrees, but overall your Wednesday will be kind of the quiet before the storm. Before I jump ahead towards the storm, let's take a look at temperatures. 24 for the low tonight. Surrounding areas will be in the low to mid 20s as you wake up tomorrow morning, and then highs will be slightly warmer than today, going with 38 in the city of Detroit. You can kind of see how we get there by the lunch hour. We will be into the low 30s near freezing before we climb into the upper 30s towards the afternoon. All right, the storm system comes in on Thursday. We're looking at a rain snow mix, but not necessarily everyone is going to see a mix. Some of us might see just rain. Others might see some snow and then others might see again a mixture of all of our four types of precipitation. So stuff starts to arrive. It will be light snow initially by about eight o'clock and then we get the bulk of the moisture moving in around about 10 and 11 o'clock in the morning. But you can see our area is split. We do have a rain snow line developing. This isn't necessarily exactly where it's going to be, but latest trends have of course, snow north, rain to the south, and a quick moving system, meaning everything starts to end around about two or three o'clock into your Thursday. That will also impact our snowfall totals. I'll have a closer look at that system and more details and more on the light snow chances after it. Coming up in just a bit, Brian. All right, check back with you.